Well, DC, like Frank Sinatra, this man has done it his way. The former UFC welterweight and middleweight champion, George Rush St. Pierre. A lot of people believe pound for pound, DC. GSP is the best they've ever seen. Yes, because he was able to mix everything together so well. When he was fighting a wrestler, he was able to keep the fight standing. When he was fighting a striking specialist, he was able to take him to the ground. His jiu-jitsu and just his full-on MMA game was something that we had never seen in the UFC before. Won the UFC championship at middleweight after being away for four years. Just showed how special George St. Pierre truly is. In terms of MMA application of wrestling, no one has done it better than George Rush St. Pierre. George Rush St. Pierre enters the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC championship belt. So Islam Makashev getting back on the proven ground here tonight, putting his undisputed UFC lightweight championship on the line. So much to love about this man's mixed martial arts acumen, his fight IQ, and you got to think it's going to take the very best out of his opponent to rest the belt away from Anyone, anyone that hopes to beat Makhachev has to be on their game. Your wrestling's got to be on point. Your striking's got to be on point. But more than anything, you have to have a steel mind you cannot break in front of Mahachev because he will then drown you. This guy is a champion for a reason. And as you have seen time and time again, Hasbula ha. joins the Dagestanis in the octagon. Perhaps that's an X factor tonight. The great Hasbula in the corner of Islam Makhachev. Islam Makhachev is ready to go, and that means so are we for our main event. All right, now let's get you our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, George Rush St. Pierre. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight. Champion of the world, Islam Malkachev. The veteran Herbert Dean, our referee for this one. All right, early round action here, and the masses have eyes fixed on one George St. Pierre. Takedown figures to be here tonight. I know that is not breaking news to the masses, but St. Pierre talked a lot about his striking and the improvements that he continues to make, especially when it comes to his jab. Feels like that's going to be the weapon that he goes to first here in this match. Oh, that's a nice combination, and not just a two-piece either. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, he did a great job of rotating. Oh, oh lands a hip toss to get him down. That can't feel good. That lead left hand has been a weapon for him all night. Great time for that takedown. Another big takedown. Accurate there from bottom position. Makashev getting touched here repeatedly with these ground and pound strikes from the top. Referee's not going to bail you out. Right into side control. Scramble, 
Wow, all things considered, pretty good shot from bottom position. This is a terrible position. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. He's very accurate in the ground and pound, and it's showing because he's landing so consistently. Well, shades of his win over Thiago Alves back at UFC 100. Takedowns in bunches. George St. Pierre's on point tonight. Just his timing on these takedowns. I haven't seen many fighters in the UFC able to level change and get to the hips better and faster than George St. Pierre. His chain wrestling has been on point tonight. Makashev's in half guard now. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensive. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. 20 seconds to go in round one. Outstanding pressure from top position here by GSP. Round two next. Great work. You won that last round. This round, you want to keep mixing things up. Use your punches, use your knees, use your kicks. I want to see you work that way. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round, and a lot of good offensive wrestling work from him over those previous five minutes. I mean, great offensive wrestling. Every time he changed levels and got to his opponent's legs, he was able to secure the takedown. Let's see what type of fatigue his opponent will carry into the next round. All right, so there's the end of the round, the storyline over those previous five minutes. Volume takedowns, offensive wrestling. Yeah, this is an exhausting type of fight. Ready to fight. Not only for Ready. the offensive yeah. fighter, but also for the opponent, always being under attack, always being defensive, always reacting for us to really wear at your gas tank. It's interesting to see who is more fresh going into the next round. Nice leg kicks. So it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times people throw singular strikes. Not this gentleman. This man is stringing four. Guillotine jump. That guillotine looks very painful. And he's very close to the finish. But he cannot rush. He cannot allow his opponent to get to his back. Oh, that has got to be it. Shows a much worse position over giving up that submission. Just over two minutes to go in round two. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, Johnny, then he just gets up. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Continuing to work out of the half guard. Inside the closed guard. Oh, looks like he's going for an arm bar here. How tight is that? Oh, looks like he's got the arm isolated. He's got it isolated, working toward the finish. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and showed in that defense. 
Seconds winding down in round two. Uh, Boy, that's the end of uh, round number two. Nice job last round. Let's take a deep breath and relax. All right, this next round, we want to do the same thing. Let's get this fight back down to the ground, and then we're in your world. All right, let's get you some pictures from that previous round, DC. A lot of good work with the ground and pound strike. Yeah, he was able to control posture, get himself postured up, land big ground and pound as he ended the round. What a great finish to a fantastic round. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Round three of a possible five. That was a nice transition. That was right off the strike into the takedown, and it looked effortless. It did not look like he had to work hard to finish his takedown at all. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Get the ball here. He's got to be careful here. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Pretty good work off of the bottom here by Islam Akasha. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Lands with the ground and pound. Takes his back. Three minutes now to go in round three. Well, St. Pierre's able to flatten him out. This could be real trouble now. Now he's going full mount. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Win the scramble. Win yes, the scramble. smart adjustment. Yep. Great work here from the bottom fighter. Now inside the closed guard. And he's gonna try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Nice shot there by the champ. Trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Oh, big shots from the top. And the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Just missed with the left there. Under 20 seconds now to go. Oh, nice double leg, yes. He passes the half in a very close round. A takedown like that might be the difference. All right, relax, relax. Deep breaths for me. Okay, let's refocus. We lost that round on the ground just because you're not staying active. You're spending too much time. Well, what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of the time. Ready. Ready. Fourth round now. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. 
All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round to fight in. You're so used to fighting up to three. You got to get back off of that stool. And this is a real test of your will and desire. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive these over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Just missed with the leg kick. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. Wow. Oh, how about the judo toss there? Judo 101. There it is. Now he's running up. That was nice. Just over three minutes to go now. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how pissed he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and The ground strikes continue to pile up. All right, so from being dominated to in the dominant position, nice reversal on the ground. Might be a submission attempt here, Chan. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Oh, he passes the half guard now, and he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Nice transition. St. Pierre's back in full mount. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. Let's go. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you gotta look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten them out and just go for the finish. Oh, he reversed position there on the ground, and he's now in the dominant position. Twenty seconds left. Short elbow, short elbow. Twenty minutes in the can, five to go. Stop, stop, stop. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. You ready to fight? Ready. Here yeah. we go, fifth and final round. Here we go with the next round. We'll see if he can pick up where he left off. No reason really to change anything when he threw more often than not he was landing. He was landing over. Oh, judo toss. Made it look easy. Nice punch there. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Oh, he missed with that right hand. So another takedown here by George St. Pierre. He passes to half guard. Close guard. And there you go, again, half guard. Oh, right into Mount. Beautiful ground strikes landing. Under three minutes now to go round five. Uh, uh, All right, let's go. One of those hits. Let's go. Uh, uh, 
Makashev's in half court. Now he's looking arm triangle on the opposite side. When he goes to finish, look, he's got it locked. When he goes to finish, he has to pass his body. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. I'm trying to recover full guard there. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Makashev's in half guard. He's got to find a way to get back to his feet. Great defense by the defensive fighter. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Islam Makashev. Get the ball here. One minute to decide this one. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Islam Akasha. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, so the title fight goes the distance. Two of the most exciting words in all of mixed martial arts and new. I think we're going to hear Bruce Buffer utter those very words tonight. And new. And he relied on his striking in order to take the belt from the former champion. He fought beautifully tonight. And we are all proud to call him new UFC champion. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 50-45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, George Rush St. P. All right, so another dominating effort out of the UFC Hall of Famer, George St. Pierre. No surprise as the scorecards are rendered. GSP across the board by decision. Most times when George St. Pierre walks to the center of the octagon to get the decision read, he is sure that he has done enough to win the fight. Tonight, that was the case as he wins another fight by decision.